Hello, welcome to your academy. At your academy, today in this lecture, we would be dealing with structuralism. Structuralism uh, is an important theory which was developed uh, in Europe in early 1915 uh, or in 1910s and later it was uh, translated into English or you know the manuscripts the text related to structuralism written by some of the uh, writers uh, in particular Ferdinand de Saussure was translated later in 1950s and 60s so it became uh, an important theory in in literature uh, in 1950s and 60s. In this lecture, we will deal with structuralism. Now, structuralism uh, is of various kinds. There is uh, linguistic structuralism, there is anthropological uh, structuralism uh, by uh, Clyde Levi Strauss. But what we would be dealing with in this lecture would be the linguistic structuralism uh, propounded uh, particularly by Ferdinand de Saussure. But before we come, to what Ferdinand de Saussure has to say about uh, the linguistics, about uh, the structure of language, it is important to understand that uh, what is the subject matter of a structuralist or what does structuralism do? Structuralism ka purpose kya hota hai? Wo karta kya hai? To structuralism uh, is not about the structure or the study of structure. Ye baat aapko yaad rakhni hai. Say for example, if you are a structuralist, you uh, will not focus upon the structure that is in front of you. But what you would be interested in that why is this structure the way it is? So what we are uh, interested in as a structuralist are about the invisible side of the structure, not the visible side of the structure. Visibly, we will see a house in L shape, 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 a house in L shape. So why is there this difference? So we, uh, in essence, are not uh, dealing in structuralism with these differences of concrete and wood, but which, which are the visible structures, but we would look beyond the, those visible things and will try to find the invisible pattern. The invisible structure that governs this structure. Ke Jammu ke makan aur Doda ke makan different kyun hote hain? Ya Badrawa ke makan different kyun hote hain? Ya broader perspective mein jo Jammu ke makan hai, wo Kashmir ke makan se alag kyun hote hain? So what we would be interested in, in looking beyond that physical structure. So what structuralist does, it goes beyond what is visible to the naked eye and tries to find the hidden pattern, the invisible pattern that governs those structures. That is what structuralists do. So similarly, uh, for example, there are many people, you know, who uh, are confused about the application of structuralism on text for example literary theory but you know uh, when we apply structuralism on literature also so what we would be uh, involved in we would be involved in different work say for example we would take up 10 short stories or 10 novels and then we'll study those novels from structuralist perspective by looking at the structure or the Invisible structure that governs the structure of a novel. For example, एक कहानी है उसमें हमें क्या होता है कि दो घर होते हैं एक लड़का होती है एक लड़की होती है एक हीरो एक हीरोइन है आप दस नॉवेल्स पढ़ते हैं and in all those ten novels there is the same thing. So what is important to know here as a structuralist is कि ये हर एक राइटर जो है इसी तरह की कहानी क्यों लिखता है जिसमें दो घर हो एक लड़का हो एक लड़की हो फिर उनको प्यार हो जाए फिर लड़ाई हो जाए फिर विलन आए so we will study this pattern so ये जो invisible चीजें गवर्न करती है कि हर एक शख्स जो इसी तरह की कहानी लिखता है that is what structuralism does are the study of characterization why do we need a villain in a story why do we need a hero why we why do we need a heroine now we will look the at the invisible patterns at the invisible structures that force us ke humko isi tarah ka likhna hai. that is what structuralism does or that is what structuralism means or that is what is the work or uh, the subject matter or area of analysis of a structuralist writer or a structuralist critic or a structuralist reader.
Now, uh, before we take up the structuralist linguist or uh, linguistic structuralism, it is very important for us to know about structure. What is a structure or what do we call a structure? So, a structure is something that is whole. That is complete in itself. You know, structure cannot be looked at in uh, pieces, in bits and pieces. And an example of it would be water. You know, water is a whole thing, but then it consists of, you know, H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. So we do not look water from the lens of hydrogen and oxygen, but what we look at water as water as a whole. Similarly, a structure would consist of many, you know, uh, little particles or aspect or particulars, but when we look it at it as a whole, that is what a structure is. Another important thing of a structure is that it transforms itself. It's not static. A structure has to be dynamic. Now, when it's dynamic, hota hai, to in that dynamic sense, what it does, it would self-regulate in itself. By self-regulation, I mean that there will be transformation, there will be change, there will be beyond structure. There will be no structure. नहीं होगी, which means that जो meaning होगा दुनिया में चीजों का, whatever meaning we'll get of our utterances, of our stories, of our uh, novels, poems would be within that structure. It will not go outside the structure. That is what structure is all about. And our whole life on this earth is governed by this structure. But the structure which governs our life on earth is again that invisible structure. Is there in our consciousness. Usko hum inherent karte hain. Ya usko hum unconsciously imbibe karte hain. Aur fir humko zindagi samaj mein aati hai. For example, we call mother a mother, father a father. We are not taught about it. When a child grows up, the first word he utters is mother. Ma bolega wo sab se pehle. Now it's not taught to him, but he imbibes it. And then eventually as he grows up, he understands the meaning of this word mother through that structure. Jis structure ke saath wo aayega. Phir zindagi mein kabhi bhi uske saamne agar koi mother utter karega, ma bolega, to he will understand that Mother means protection, mother means love, mother means care. He will never mean anything else. For example, uske samne maa bologe to usko dost zahen mein nahi aayega. Usko koi criminal zahen mein nahi aayega. Usko koi dousra banda zahen mein nahi aayega. The first thing that the first thought that will come in his mind by listening the word mother would be these good things like care, love, protection. This is how this structure governs our mind, our consciousness and it is through that process that we understand things in our mind.